Welcome back to our off-grid life out here in the remote Canadian wilderness. As fall sets in and the cooler temperatures arrive, we are embracing the vibrant changing colors and the quiet that comes along with living in nature. We're gonna show you what life is like living out here at this time of year. It's a slower pace, but there's always something to do as we prepare for the colder months ahead. Risk taker touching that. I always touch it, you know? Before getting in. Yeah, Bill, we touch the water. And then there's Izzy sun tanning. It's so shallow. <laughs> but it's mighty cold. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> it did not take long to get frigid, eh? This year? <laughs> She's a frigid one, a frigid, frigid, frigid one. It's like so dark under the dock, it's giving Friday the 13th. How appropriate. Yeah! Good job. Feel alive. Hi, you wanna go in? You always find a bed, don't you, little one? Good way to start your day, Izzy. Did you have fun? <laughs> I had fun. She had fun. <laughs> Fall is meant for the extra long mornings. Mm -hmm. I love them. <laughs> Walking Tangerine over to the job site. There is a lot going on down here at the lake house and there is a lot to do before winter. And that includes cleaning up this yard. So it's one step at a time. Today, we're going to tackle that tree. There's quite a few trees that are dead that we've started to take down. Some over there. Over there. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. And because they're dead, it's important we take them down because a hurricane season is on the way, winter is on the way, and these probably won't be able to withstand too much more wind. They've been dead for a long time and I'm tired of looking at them. It's been a long summer of looking at dead trees. And they're all falling towards the house. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this week's video. A few years ago now, I was chatting to a friend who hadn't really been doing that well. And it seemed she had turned her life around. She had made all these great changes, she was feeling really good, and it seemed she had really figured something out. I wanted to know what she was doing because there was things that I wanted to change about my life too. And I know almost everyone can relate to this. There's always room and space to grow and be a better version of ourselves. She had started therapy. She started telling me how she had benefited from it and that really motivated me. I was gonna try it too. When I reflect on that time in my life, I'm so grateful that I just gave therapy a shot. 
And if you think that talking to a therapist may improve your life, then today's sponsor, BetterHelp, is a great place to start. It's really easy to get started. If you fill out a brief questionnaire, you'll be matched with your therapist within a few days. And one of the best features with BetterHelp is if you don't connect well with your therapist, at no extra cost, you can switch until you find someone that you connect with and that you can be open with. What I love is that you can be doing therapy from the comfort of your own home or wherever is comfortable to you. You could even be traveling, but it's easy because you can have video sessions, phone sessions, or you can even message your therapist. They carefully make sure that all therapists on the platform are well qualified, and if you need any help along the way, their customer service support team will be there to help you. If you'd like to try therapy with BetterHelp, click the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com forward slash fanwives and you'll receive 10% off your first month of therapy. I'm cutting today, folks. And I'm in some state. That does look like a state. What state? I want to come to you. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. Almost looks like Florida. Florida? Maybe. I thought it looked like Idaho. What? I don't know what your states <laughs> look like. Let us know what state that looks like, everyone. What is that? That is a state of America. I know it's one of the states. Look, I'm in Canada and America. <laughs> or USA, sorry, people. Okay, we have kind of a tricky tree. How fitting for October. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Finally, Crystal got one of my jokes. Um, the bottom is leaning that way, but the top is leaning that way. But I think the bottom of the tree is heavier than the top of the tree. So I'm gonna still go for that way. Also, a lot safer that way. You gotta stay. I know you wanna help, but you gotta stay, okay, Bear? It's down. Thank you, Tangerine. Thank you so much. This poor guy had to go because, as you can see, very dead. And also, he lived right over here. Also, it was a big honking one. Sad. But if you fell in the cabin, bye bye cabin. And all of you people that said you should demolish your cabin, you probably would have been happy, but we would have been sad because we're bringing it back to life. Because it has amazing two by six walls and steps. We have a lot to clean up now because that's what happens when you take down a tree. You uh, clean up the tree. Taking down the tree is actually the easiest part, I think. Some people would probably disagree, but I also think this one's still producing leaves, but it's far enough away. But look at the bottom of it here. Poor little fella. I always noticed there was lots of woodpeckers down here, but on these trees that have, we've taken down behind me, you can see that they're covered in woodpecker holes, which from what I understand can also kill a tree as insects can now get into the tree. Um, and anyways, it's a really kind of pretty design actually. All the little holes look really kind of cool. Fall on sleep. I can't get over how pretty the background is, sorry. I know. No one wants to look at a diesel can. Wow. Oh my gosh. What? When you ran over Mr. Crocodile. <laughs> I did. Supervisor's not gonna be happy. Sorry, Supervisor, but Crocodile, you leave her <laughs> everywhere. Everything goes so fast with Tangerine. And of course, our beautiful operator, Crystal Whistle. What we have going on right now is we have three piles. 
two brush piles that we are going to burn when we're able to. And the last pile is firewood and or our friend has a sawmill, so we'll ask him if he wants it before that. And then we'll get to chopping that soon, make it into nice 16 inch logs so we can have more firewood. It's good wood, you don't wanna burn it. I'm gonna go ahead on the last log. It sounds like Crystal has already cleaned it all up. Will you grab those big tree roots too? Thank you. Three dead trees have been taken down and taken care of in their piles. Now we got three new baby trees to plant. Yep, we're gonna plant these. Somewhere. And they're gonna look fabulous. I think I know where we should plant them. You're the gardener, our landscaper. We're going with some jumbo giant cedar trees. And well, that's because we had some leftover, but also because cedar trees love water. They retain water. So if you ever lost on a hike and you have no water left, find a cedar tree, dig, and then now you got water. You'll thank me one day. I hope you don't get lost though, and I hope you always have water on your hikes, but it happens, man, it happens. Me and you, we can spend the whole night, me and you. Just us two, we can share our whole lives, me and you. Our plan is to leave all of the trees that are here, continue planting trees and plants over the years to come and keep this river as natural as possible. It has beautiful native plants running all along it and tall grass and we love the way that looks and it's really good for the ecosystem and the water so we're going to keep it that way. Carry me away in the current of the river to a quiet little place where I can hold you like a whisper and we can let down our guard. We're safe in each other's eyes. I think these trees look super cute. They're just wee wee little babies right now. But in a few years, they're gonna be nice and big and tall and healthy. So they're gonna blend right in. Check out the fall asters. Something about the flower gardens in the fall when they're fully grown and the grass is as tall as it is, the fall gardens are a vibe. The colors and the bees are still working hard. Sadly here in Canada, winter's coming and the leaves are falling, which means the evenings and the nights are getting colder and the greenhouse is slowly also dying, which we are accepting because we had a wonderful growing season. But I really do think that today is gonna be one of our very last, if not our last harvest. So, see what we can get. Pick it all. <laughs> pick, yeah, it. pick it. Yeah, girl. Oh, I see another one back there. Yeah, it's another one. Oh. Should we let it grow or do you think it's gonna die? Well, I already picked it, so... Uh, I feel like we should just pick them. There's flowers! Wow. That's sh it. shocking, honestly. Yummy. Zucchini or summer squash. Oh. What are you looking through? There's a hole. Oh. I wonder if these are spicy. Take a bite. <laughs> I actually want Come to. Come on, do it, I dare you. What if it's really spicy? Do it. I go get green peppers. I knew I planted regular peppers. Green peppers. are regular peppers. They look like them. Wait. Yeah. Cool. Well, if anyone didn't know, there was a pepper gate this year and everyone got the wrong pepper seeds. But not me. I got the right ones. <laughs> Cute. You got a twist. I know. <laughs> That's perfect. I didn't even see that guy. See how big they're getting? Oh, wow. They look like they're going to explode. Can I pick them all? Mm. Even though they're green? Don't pick the green ones. Let them get red. Well, I'm certainly wrong. Looks like we've got some squash growing. <laughs> Hadn't taken a peek at this guy in a little while, and it's doing very well. So, we'll let it thrive and in a few weeks, we'll be eating squash. Mm, 
smells so good, like candy. Look at this oregano. Looks like it's straight from the countryside of Italy. Look at all my beans. Nice. Look at my flowers. That's pretty bouquet. Where are you going to put it? One proud gardener. One proud gardener, <laughs> but second last harvest of the year. And it's beautiful. Wow. It's cool to be able to eat food from your own garden at this time of year. From seed to table. I'm gonna be honest. Did you think we'd be eating this at this time of year? Not one bit. Look at that. Thank you, greenhouse. Yeah. Thanks. And thank you, gardener. And thank you, sunshine. Thank you, water. Dun, 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 dun. Marry a gardener, everyone. Marry a chef, everyone. Oh. She's about to start cooking. <laughs> I'm no chef, but you could. Here you go, chef. Marry a dishwasher. <laughs> say I am very proud of these peppers I've never grown bell peppers and these are crunchy Whoa. and delicious very proud you know what's kind of funny what we learned this recipe in Mexico we're going <laughs> Thank you, you basically did all of it. Oh, it I smells just so good. Chopped away. It looks so, 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 so good. I actually feel kind of bad eating this in front of you all. I feel bad too. Like I it's wish I could share. So good. Can we give them like another peek at this? Yeah, what do you, I don't even think we told them. We were so into chopping and cooking. Mm. This baby is lasagna soup. Fresh veggies, so many veggies. I'm drooling. Lasagna noodles. Fresh parsley. Oh my gosh, it looks so good with toast. Seed to table. It looks so good. I think I should try. The drama, the suspense. Are you burning your mouth? It's very hot. Mm -hmm. Still. But it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Ten. Out of 10, make yourself a lasagna soup. Give me a recipe. Mm, lots of veggies, pasta sauce, vegetable broth, soy sauce. You can write on the screen. <laughs> We're in the description. You got it. Shades on, kick your feet up, <gasps> sipping on a Cadillac margarita. Let the waves roll, let the stress go. So baby red corner fever. Just pulled over to tell you I just saw two deer. I love deer. 
This time of year is the best for scoping out wildlife, especially on the trails. It's really hard to get footage of them though because they are in such a hurry to get away from us. So hopefully we can get something, but if not, I had to share with you just how magical the woods are in the autumn. The autumn season, I love it. Anything today. We're wildlife watching. <laughs> Probably being too loud right now. But these colors are straight out of a calendar. <laughs> It's so pretty. Hey? Eh? Deer hunting with our eyes. Yeah, we are deer hunting with our eyes. We need electric toys. And then they'll never hear us. Living our best life, doing it right. Doing it right. Sipping on sunshine, taking our time. Living our best life, <laughs> you're in the there's lakes on lakes on these trails or ponds on ponds empty lakes yeah it's so pretty <sighs> can probably build a cabin right there and just squat no one will ever find you is it considered squatting if there's nothing there <laughs> it is equivalent to the blm land in united states just land that is no one to just be left alone and be nature. Yeah, we got a lot of it in this province, which is nice. And it's literally all behind us. Living our best life. super dry so we are making the best of these little puddles usually these puddles are all full to the brim and you're soaked by now so you got to make a big splash and you're going through you got a soaker got a soaker you're like a five-year-old kid i love it you, you saw the puddle you're like Hoo -hoo! <laughs> so funny like you literally had an evil laugh yeah. This has got to be the most autumn activity. A little trail riding, stop, stop to pick up a pumpkin. It's basically out of a movie. Like how cute is this little, I just love it. This one. That one. What one? The bottom one. This one? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going home with the round one. Nice pumpkin. Thanks. <laughs> Gotta get him home safe.
thank you. It's always a little bit of work to keep this going, but oh my goodness, once it's going, is it ever the best feeling ever. A little bit of work, it's a long way out here. Okay, we just need to slow down to be able to enjoy the process of the hot tub and the sauna because it doesn't light up right away and it's not instantly hot. It actually takes quite a few hours to get the hot tub and the sauna up to temp. Looks like it's gonna be a rainy spa day. Oh, she's hot in here. Just kidding. It's time to drop wood. We're actually fully out of kindling, eh? I know. We said <laughs> we'd do it all summer. And we didn't. Is it shocking? No. Oh, wow, this one is heavy. I just told Crystal she has a frown when she chops on it. <laughs> I wasn't being very smart. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I'm that strong. No, I think the tool is very old. We did get it gifted to us. Oh. It's been on this planet for like a hundred years. Too bad. Speaking of gifts, this makes a really good gift. If you're looking to gift someone something. Yeah, right here. Everyone should have one, and they're a lot of fun. Yeah, we got it for a gift. Are you having fun? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. I'm also having a lot of fun making this video, and I think it's important to say that every year I get it a little bit smarter, because every year at this time of year, my body starts to slow down, and I start to dilly-dally around. <laughs> and although I am still fighting it, it is a good reminder to mention that it's okay to dilly dally, a dilly dally a little bit at this time of year and to slow down a little bit. <laughs> Jasmine's a trooper, it's absolutely pouring and she's still, still chopping. But, be easy on yourself. Because I actually do think that everyone is probably on the same page with what I'm saying. Gotta embrace it, even just for a few minutes a day. If you just need to like sit down for a little bit or do a little bit of something that you like doing, allow yourself to do it. This kindling should start quite a few fires for at least a month. And then we're gone. <laughs> then we ain't starting any fires out here. We're stocked for our winter. <laughs> Good work. Sure is easy this year. <laughs> <laughs> Max 
haven't sweat this much since the peak of the summer and you know what's next. I can't describe the feeling of cold to hot. That's feeling. Oh. I feel so alive. Awake. <laughs> that was wonderful. Oh my gosh. Had been got back in the cold for my last cold and I'm wide awake. How about you? I am amazing. Chris was super hungry. I am so <laughs> happy we did that. Happy and hungry, so gotta make some food now. <laughs> I see forever when I look in your eyes. Love that is deeper than the blue in the sky. Just look at that autumn sun, eh? <laughs> Can hardly see it today. Come on, let's go on your new trail, girls. Come on. They love it. <laughs> new smells, eh? Welcome to our new trail. The cabin is, oh, right there. <laughs> You love all the new smells, eh? They're off-roaders. Make them a trail and they're just walking through the woods like animals. <laughs> I think that's the glorious part of it all. Is that this trail opens up so much for these two. So many new smells. And for us, but like, yeah. Look how pretty it is. We've made it all the way to the back of the property, everyone. Look how awesome the trail is looking. It really doesn't take long. A couple walks and it's established yeah to put into reference our driveway and then the clearing that we have of our cabin we have that doubled in the back after we built the road it opened up our entire land so much it is a work in progress blazing these trails And what's so exciting about the discovery of this land back here is the elevation, the huge boulders covered in moss and just how fun this trail is. It's super spongy and green and lush with all the moss. It's really such a pretty place and I can't believe it's taken us this long to be able to get back here and walk our land. It's such a cool feeling to roll out of bed, open the door and walk out onto the trails. The girls love it. This part gets your heart rate up. Look what's coming out. Sunshine. The whole forest looks like a different color now. Yeah. This is Maple Central. <laughs> oh, the pretty leaves. Wow. Little Jasmine and Crystal, eight years ago, walked trails every single day in our hometown. And I would have never dreamt of having my own. So we need a good name for these trails. <laughs> yeah. This is the back portion behind the cabin, but it's gonna go even further. So let's just start by naming this. Part? Yeah. Down there, you could, there's like a Y in the trail. So you can go that way, which will lead toward the lake. And then this way leads towards more of the forest. It needs a name and it needs a good one. Yeah. Where we used to walk was called Gable's Way. So yeah, the Gable. let's run off of that because it was Belle and Izzy's favorite place. Favorite. And now Belle and Izzy have their own trail. It's wild, I know it. It is wild. You are spoiled. I'm honestly happy that we took this long to come to this point of having a trail on our property because it feels like after all these years like a whole other discovery like a new surprise yeah like this whole other extension of like our property that I didn't even realize that we could have because we were so focused on everything else yeah this is so fun you fall in love more and more every day eh? yeah like how cool is this look at the 
I know, yeah. We go all the way up here. And then we're almost at the property line. Like another like 50-ish feet. It's still so exciting. I don't think it'll ever not be exciting. No, man, you got your own dog trail. That's like my dream come true. Moonlight mirror through the trees An angel's face in front of me In time and spaces Tapestry steady falling Look how big the trees are back here! Who knew this big girl was back here? <laughs> I see a tree house in your future. I certainly see a tree house in my future too. Whoa! Wanna go up here? Oh! Did you see that? Yeah. What an athlete. That's a big rock, my girls. They're the queens of the forest. Better than easy. We got big trees and big rocks. It makes me so happy how much they love this trail. Just to do something new. It's good for the big wings. Out here where we live, there is acres on acres on acres of woods. Hectares. Hectares? There's a it's lot. It's so dense, it's really hard to be able to maneuver and walk through them because there isn't a lot of human activity out here. So having a trail really allows us to access these trails because there was a time Jasmine and I got lost and we had to basically crawl back. That's how dense the woods were yeah. when we got lost. And that's because this area was logged. So and back in the day, there wasn't any really regulations. You just plant as many trees as close as possible perfectly instead of now there's like a figure eight method. But anyways, we can get through our our land now without having to crawl <laughs> on our hands and knees. It was funny because it was actually pitch black too, wasn't it? Oh yeah, my God. <laughs> it was getting dark and it was getting a little yeah. spooky. But Which is why we have the trail markers up yet still, um, but I, I'll definitely take them down pretty soon. But it's nice to have right now. Yeah, until it's super established, like it's clearly, clearly, clearly a trail. Yeah. I mean, it's clearly a trail, but it's just nice for other people too. Yeah, yeah that's true. It's not just about us, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Family. They don't want, we don't want them getting lost in the woods. If you look around, you can almost see where the natural trail needs to be. Thanks to all the wildlife, like the deer and the bear, and the animals that have been running through here, you can see where they go. So we naturally kind of just choose to go the same way. And it's kind of cool. And I bet you, if we get some trail cams out here, we're gonna see some really cool animals. Out the trail. Walk across the road, just for a little bit. On to the next trail, which goes the river and lake cabin. Wow. I love. Look at all the leaves. Yeah. Well, See you soon.